Hi, this is Dr. Artie Kavanaugh at RWCS 2016, the Rheumatology Winter Clinical Symposium, and also for Room Now. And we're in the poster area where the fellows are showing their posters at the meeting, and a lot of interesting cases. This is one by Dr. Patrick Wood, comes to us from Colorado, and it talks about an interesting case in the brain. Patrick, tell us about this. Thanks, Dr. Kavanaugh. So, I made a poster about a unique case of central nervous system calcification. So this is something known in the neurology literature as Farr's disease, although it's a somewhat controversial name. What it's really describing is deep white matter and basal ganglia calcification. It's a very rare disorder that's seen in 50 to 100 cases in the literature. It's something that the practicing rheumatologist may encounter though, uh, because even in this rare disease, it does have a somewhat strong association with systemic lupus. It's been seen in several cases. So I presented a unique case in which the patient had no previous history of central nervous system lupus, including aseptic meningitis, strokes, or cerebritis. Uh, had a very uh, quiet disease course for her lupus for about 10 years uh, after being on uh, uh, mycophenolate for that time. And then developed this very strange pattern of lower extremity movement disorder and uh, some big word finding difficulties. And so her primary care physician uh, obtained an MRI which showed these very bizarre uh, deep white matter uh, calcifications. However, her uh, serologies and uh, lumbar puncture data did not really look like active central nervous system lupus. And so uh, there was a lot of back and forth between the neurologists, ourselves, because Honestly, nobody had ever even heard of this disorder, but apparently it's a very classic thing on the radiology board. So the radiologist had brought up uh, this possibility to our attention, to be uh, perfectly honest. Uh, so after much back and forth, uh, we decided that it's a primarily neurodegenerative disease, and so we did not want to harm the patient by throwing lots of cytoxin and pulse steroids at her. And so uh, she uh, went back on low-grade immune suppression with her MPA, uh, which didn't really improve her symptoms as we expected, and then she had some modest improvement with uh, levodopa, so consistent with the, the diagnosis of probable Farr's disease. Interesting case, Dr. Wood, and I think it highlights that you know, sometimes we need collaboration with a neurologist, but in this case, the radiologist, and sometimes a uh, careful review will turn up something where it had been puzzling to us as clinicians. Yeah, so it's, it's a rare disorder, and I think we need to, you know, the next steps here, even though this has been described for close to 30 years, there's never really been a, a thorough case series in this situation in terms of lupus-associated uh, Fars disease. And as we're learning more about the neurocognitive uh, comorbidities in lupus as kind of the next steps in lupus management, this is probably an area that, that needs further research. All right, thank you very much. Fascinating case. Uh, Artie Kavanaugh here, RWCS 2016, and for Room Now.